Have you ever wanted to make your frames levitate? Well, stay tuned and let's check it out. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So recently I've been eyeballing, well not recently, actually two months ago, I was eyeballing some levitating stuff just, you know, to make things spin just for the heck of it. And it's just a nice little conversation starter. And to see how these things work, like I want to do a teardown and play with this stuff. Now, uh, this is a levitating display 360 degree, that's what they're calling some magnetic levitating uh, table or display stand. And what it is, it's actually levitating on this magnet here. And, um, as you can tell, let me just show you. So it's it's just, it's pretty awesome actually. And this thing is, is rated for 250 grams, but I, I got away with putting a 350 gram quadcopter on it. So, you know, just to display a quadcopter is pretty insane. <clears throat> so it just takes a little practice because this is too heavy. Well, this is a perfect time to show you this. So check this out. So in here, it's running a PID controller also, like our quadcopters, yes, a PID controller. And what you do is, when you start to place it, you don't just place it, it'll just start levitating. You have to center it first for the PID controller. It'll help you with the LEDs. So if you, if you see here, now when it goes off, I'm too far away from this. You want all the LEDs to be on, and you want it to be, you could feel it, and then you could just let it go, and it'll levitate. You know, once you put it on, it's, it's kind of sensitive how you put it on, but once it's on, I mean, I could be super rough with it, not super, super rough with it, but I can just do crazy stuff with it. So here we go. We're going to set this up again. Uh, it's, the setup is pretty easy. Just once you get used to it right now, I'm just trying to do it in a hurry, like, because I'm recording and everything for you guys. So there we go. And then you can just, uh, it's, it's, it's awesome. I, I was expecting it to be a lot more sensitive and basically useless uh, because of its price. But look at that. That's just, oh, man, that's just so satisfying to watch. I've just been looking at this all morning. I haven't done anything. So let's try to put this heavy ass quadcopter. This is above 250 grams. This is rated way more than uh, it's supposed to. It's probably 100 grams more. This thing is rated for 250 grams. It's still levitating about half an inch. So uh, that's pretty good. So we could just spin it. We have to be a little bit careful with this one since it's heavier than what it's recommending. But the, the PID controller in this little piece of levitating table thingy is just insanely good. They, they've programmed it very well, I can tell you that. And it seems of very good quality. Um, this is a reflective surface, as you can see here. Let's just remove this guy. Let's unplug this. It comes with everything you need. You don't have to buy anything. So as you can see here, we have quality pass, uh, sticker, and um, you just have one input. You just put your power and that's it. It just boots up. It, it has a nice weight to it too. It's not like super light. It's, it's It has a nice weight to it. And this magnet too. I wonder what happens when we put the magnet here right now. So yeah. So inside the power will just, you know, loosen, you know, or just re release some of the magnetic forces of these four uh, sides right here to enable the PID control. That's what the PID control is actually controlling here to have that thing just stay right dead center. So let's go ahead and turn it back on. All right, awesome. So let's go ahead and set this up again. As you can tell, the LEDs turn on and off. You need to make sure you got all of them on while you're placing it down just so it could catch in the PID controller and sh it'll know what to do. There we go. And that's perfect. That's just awesome, really. I mean, just, you know, imagine you, you have your little frame or whatever and it's just right there spinning. I am really in love here. I, I can't tell you how, how awesome this is. You just come here and just spin this guy. <laughs> this is just insane. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that's going to conclude with this video. I just really thought this this thing deserved a video because it's just so awesome and I've just been playing with it all morning. We will be doing a teardown of this, seeing how it works and checking what we can do. Maybe if we could reprogram it or try to take out the firmware that's in it and seeing uh, how it's running, if possible. But overall, it's a very nice piece, you know, decoration for your office room, workshop, whatever. Just have something floating there, just spinning. It's just it's just satisfying and, and uh, it just turns you into like zombie mode where you just look at it and just do nothing so overall that's gonna conclude it for this video i really guys i really hope you guys enjoyed it i know it's off topic but um i just thought it really deserved a little uh attention here because um i i'm i just really love it i think i'm gonna get more of these and just try them out uh, but overall, it seems to be absolutely good quality. I wish the levitating uh, space was higher, a little bit higher. It's about an inch. It's levitating about, uh, 
Yeah, a little bit, a little bit close to an inch, about you know, 80, 70 to eighty percent of an inch. It's levitating, so it's pretty good. I mean, almost an inch on the top surface here. But once you put something heavy, it'll drop down. But as you can see, you can see the, I could feel the PID controller working under my fingers, which is pretty insane, actually. So overall, I really like this piece, and um, that's gonna conclude it for this video, guys. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please consider joining my Patreon. Help me support the mission. Help me document everything. Uh, you could also use affiliate links down there. They do greatly support the channel. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I uh, will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.